Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to talk about the image menu keyboard shortcuts. So let's head over to Photoshop if you're not already there. I actually still have Untitled 4 uh, up on the screen here. So I'm going to hit Control S to save because I see this little star here, which means I need to save. So I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to talk about this menu right here. So they have quite a few shortcuts here. Um, there's some in there, so in adjustments, so we're going to be doing a couple of adjustments first, then we're going to do auto tone, and then image size and camera size, okay? So that's pretty much going to be this lecture. So the first thing I want to do is I want to give this kind of a wild background, so I'm going to unlock this layer. I'm going to give it a red background with, with uh, yellow, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the adjustments okay and so we're gonna adjust the levels so I'm gonna hit control L and we're gonna put this on preview and what you can do is when we start moving stuff around here you can see what's going on over here okay that's why I picked a darker color because it's easier to see what we're doing so if I go like this and move this this way then you can see okay that's what it's doing all right so if I hit OK and then save that that's the levels, okay? Now I'm going to hit Control M to go to the curves, okay? And same thing, we're going to leave the preview on, and then we're just going to move stuff around, and you're going to see it's going to change the color, okay? So we can move it a little bit up or down. We can also move it this way as well, okay? So that's the curves. The next thing we're going to talk about is Control U, which is the hue and saturation. So you can really change this up a lot just with the hue and saturation. So we can make it darker and we can go this way, you know. Okay, and hit OK. Then we can do color balance. So if I hit Control B, now we can do color balance. So I can move the colors this way, that way. So I can go lighter. There you go. Okay, I'll hit OK. We can also do black and white. So if I do Alt Shift Control and B, then what it's going to do is make the background black or a darker color. And then you can edit the I mean, you could still edit it more, but it essentially is making it that color, black and white, or darkening it, I should say. Um, to invert, we're going to hit Control I. Okay, so invert is going to do the opposite of what we have there. So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. To desaturate, we're going to hit Shift Control U. Supposedly that worked. Let me see something. Yep, that worked. Okay, I wanted to make sure. To do auto tone, we're going to do Shift Control L. Okay, now this is not really a good image for that, so what I want to do is hit Control N. We're going to do Untitled 5, and I'm going to give this kind of a, uh, let's make a new layer here. I'm going to grab the brush and I'm going to do this and that. And then let's do the background. I'm going to unlock that. We're going to go to a gradient and just kind of do that. And then we'll change this. I'm going to delete this one. Yes. And then I'm going to make a new layer and give it a white brush and then do that. Okay, now we're going to do auto tone. So if we do shift control L, if we do shift control L, it's going to auto tone this. Now, this is really better for an image. So here's what I want you to do. We're going to go to your favorite web browser, whatever that is, Google Chrome, Firefox. We're going to go to Google and I'm going to type in landscape. Okay, and we're going to go to images and just grab this image here. Okay, I'm gonna save as, 
right to the desktop. Close out your browser and then hit Control O and bring the photo in. There you go, beautiful. Now, if I do the same shortcut of Shift Control L, it's gonna auto tone. So you can see what it did here. I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo. Okay, so it set the auto tone. So I'm gonna redo that. Okay, we can also do auto contrast. We can do Alt Shift Control L. Okay, and then Shift Control B for auto color. So you can see it changed it again. And if you didn't see it, I'll undo it. And then we'll redo what we just did. So you can see it. Okay. Um, so that that is the keyboard shortcuts for adjustments and also for auto tone, auto contrast, and auto color. And it's really better for images that you've taken of an environment somewhere. This is not really a good use for those tools because there's nothing to auto tone. It's already got everything it needs. So I'm going to save this with Control S and then uh, close this one out with Control W. And then this image, what I want to do is I want to look at the image size. So we're going to hit Alt Control L. Nope, that's the wrong one. Alt Control I. There we go. And you're going to see the image size here. So we have the original size and it's in inches right now. So if we want to change that to pixels, it's a thousand pixels by 667 pixels and it's 72 DPI or the resolution is 72 dots per inch. So it's a lower res image. So I'm going to hit OK. Um, now if we wanted to see the canvas size, we're going to hit Alt Control C. And now we can see what the size is, the canvas, so the background of this. So there's two different, there's a differentiation between the canvas size and the image size. The canvas size, if I change this to 1200, okay, we're going to have space on the right and the left. And then if I hit Alt Control again and see, if I hit the right keys, there we go. And I did 1200 here. Okay, we're going to have space, the top and the bottom, everywhere, because the image itself, this image, if we look at it again, Alt Control I, not L, I keep hitting L, my apologies. The, the width and the height of this is only 1200. Okay, now it's gone up, but when we looked at it before, it was not 1200 by 1200. So we can actually shrink this down. We could do 600 by 600, okay? And we keep the canvas the way it is, okay? So that's the difference between image size and camera size. But again, I want to focus on the keyboard shortcuts, and that's why it's important to understand these because if you're working with a lot of images, you want to use a lot of these keyboard shortcuts you're going to use. Levels, curves, hue and saturation, color balance, black and white. Invert, desaturate, auto tone, auto contrast, auto color are commonly used tools that quickly get your images where they need to be right away. And then if you have to adjust the image size or the canvas size, then you can do that. So thank In this lecture, we're going to talk about the layer menu shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to close out this image that we worked with in the previous video. So I'm going to save it. And Untitled 4, we'll just hit Control S and then Control W to close that out. Now what I want to do is hit Control N and we're going to do Untitled 6. Okay, I'm going to hit Control Shift S and we're going to save that to the desktop. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the layers. Okay. So we're going to talk specifically about the layer menu and a lot of the shortcuts here are going to be ones that you can see right in front of you here. Um, right there and then right here. Okay, so I just want to give you kind of a visual aid on that. So if I hit, so I want you to watch from down here or wherever your layers panel is. If we hit shift control N, what that's going to do is it's going to prompt up a new layer. Okay, so we can name it whatever we want. 
We can also give it a color and we can put it in a mode. So if you want to give it a different mode, then you can. Um, I'm going to leave it as normal. I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see layer one is red and we're, it's selected, right? So if I do another one, let's do Shift Control N and let's give this one orange. Okay, and we'll just keep it layer two. And then let's make another one. And we're going to give it yellow. Okay, and then we'll make another one. And we're going to give it the color green. And we'll do three more. So we're going to do blue, violet, and then gray. Okay, so we should have a total of seven new layers that we've created with this keyboard shortcut. And the reason why that's important, okay, the reason why creating a new layer is important is because I use this tool all the time. Whenever I need a new layer, shift control N, this is one of the main keyboard shortcuts I use. Okay, I could spend an entire a course just talking about layers. So, the point is, is that new layer is a great keyboard shortcut, okay? And it's going to make your life so much easier. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is layer via copy. So, if I hit control J, it's going to copy layer 7, which, I got to be honest, I didn't even know that you could do that. That's awesome. That's something that I learned when I was researching for this course, okay? Now, if we want to cut that layer, we can hit shift Control j And what that's going to do, so if I hit shift Control j it's going to cut the layer, and then we're going to hit, uh, let's see, how do I paste this then? Okay, well, that's to duplicate it. Um, the cut, I, I guess, I'll just delete it. Um, the layer via cut. I don't even know why that's a keyboard shortcut, honestly. Um, if we wanted to export a layer as a JPEG, you hit shift control explanation point or apostrophe. Okay. And it's empty, right? So let's do this. Let's grab a brush and I'm going to do that. And then we'll try it again. And now you can see I can export it right from the layer. That's awesome. So that's, that's a quick export as PNG is what that is. So if I save this as layer seven and then minimize this for a second, you can see right here we have layer seven. Okay. So how cool is that to be able to go from the layer and just quick export it out as an, uh, a quick export as PNG. That's awesome. Now, if you want to export as, we're going to hit Alt, Shift, Control, Apostrophe, right? And what that's going to do is it's going to take us to the prompt menu where we can select the format and select a lot more options here. So I can export all, and we're going to call this layer 78 instead of 7, so I can save it. And then when I go to the desktop, there it is, right here. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to save this with Control S. Now, the next thing we can do is create a clipping mask. So if I hit Alt, Control, G, okay, what that's going to do is it's going to mask what I have. So layer masks are really cool. Basically, the idea behind it is you put an object here, and then you can mask over it with something. Or you can hide part of it and then show other parts of it. Um, that's another entire course I can go over. So I'm not going to cover it in depth. I'm just going to give you a broad stroke. And that's really the broad stroke at this point. Now, the next shortcut is group layers. So this, so if we hit Control G, this is a crazy cool keyboard shortcut because I just did that six times, right? So if I hit Control Z, okay, and go back. You see that I don't have to even use my mouse really when I'm doing this. You still need a mouse for this, but that's all you should be using the mouse for, is for that. Like, I shouldn't have to use it for tools. I should know what the shortcuts are. 
so that I can, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just, I'm going haywire right now. But the point is, is that if you know the keyboard shortcuts, you don't need to use this or this at all, really. And then you can focus on getting work done. So anyway, um, Control G is an awesome keyboard shortcut because you can create groups with this. So I can grab these layers, throw them up here, grab these layers, throw them in group two. Okay. And I'm, if you highlight it and then hit Control G, they, they go inside, right? So if I created, so let's go outside of the box here and hit, we're going to do Shift Control N. So we'll do a couple layers here. Just make four layers. Highlight them, then hit Control G, and now you have group four. That's how easy it is. And that makes it really easy to group layers. Now if you don't want to ungroup, you hit Shift Control G, okay, and then it will ungroup it. If you want to hide the layers, hit Control and Comma, that will hide the layers. You want to unhide the layers, do the same thing. If you want to lock the layers, Control backslash, and that will lock the layers. Now, these are two keyboard shortcuts, again, that I did not know before I researched this. What I've been doing is the old school way, which you highlight it and then you click on this. So I've actually learned a few things here, and I'm quite proud of saying that I'm always willing to learn something. So I'm never the smartest person in the room. I'm kind of in the middle, okay? Um, so let me undo that. Now you can merge down, so if I hit Control E, what this is gonna do is it's gonna merge all those layers together, okay? And then Merge Visible, we're gonna hit Shift Control E. And that will do all of them. So all the layers were grouped together. So you can merge down, which means any layers that are highlighted, they're gonna to merge together. And then Merge Visible means all your layers are going to be flattened into one. So if you want to export this out as an image, it will do that if you save it as an image. But this is another way you can do that where if you want to, you know, merge them together, that's a way to do it. All right, so I'm going to save this file. I'm going to undo that and undo that as well. And thanks for watching this lecture. I'll see you in the next lecture.